there's no question that COVID can do bad things to the heart, even in healthy people. We see the so-called myocarditis, which is this inflammation of the heart muscle, which has been described even in young, healthy athletes, professional athletes, college athletes, as well as, you know, people who are not uh, athletes. And we've also seen that phenomena of this inflammation of the heart in people with no symptoms. In Germany, they did a study of 100 people, 18 of them had no symptoms uh, with COVID and 12 of those people had an abnormal uh, heart magnetic resonance in that's consistent with COVID. We are we are like the iceberg that we know there's so much below the surface here. We just haven't studied it yet. Like we need studies of large numbers of people who've had COVID and look at their heart. We've seen that with the lungs. A lot more people who have no symptoms have lung issues. Another reason why we need to be careful not to spread it and to get it it's just that we don't know the frequency. And moreover, we don't know why certain people this happens to, and most people it doesn't. When you know people with mild COVID, no symptom COVID, and they get heart myocarditis, you know that there's more to learn here. So we have got to get all over this and you know, start, start to prevent it, to uh, come up with better ways of figuring out why certain people get it. So we know who the high risk people are. We, we haven't a clue on that yet. People who are in the hospital with COVID are those who have evidence of heart damage by blood tests, the so-called troponin. They have a higher risk of not making it, you know, not surviving. The part about in the hospital is, is different because it, when you put a person who's got heart disease in the hospital for any reason, they can have injury to their heart muscle. That's more predictable, not good. It's the people who are not in the hospital uh, for some reason that are getting this other injury, this inflammation slash injury. That's where we have to zoom in, I hope.